strong attack is. That's like a bad drawing. That's a bad drawing? That's good. No. What bad? These guys I don't know, do anything. Good. 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 Oh, you're dead. You got lost. You just said thing. No, the thing. Let's see if it's really good. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> now check it out. Now remember what we talked about on the weekend. Let's Let's look at it. Let's look at let's look at what's going on here from a scientific perspective. Now, one thing is what we learned last time. This is this is an apple, right? Now, it's dehydrating, decomposing. Yeah, it's like round. Hold on a second. What's causing what's causing the apple to change color? The air, the air, the air or oxygen. oxygen. Now, remember we were talking about those McDonald's apples, and for some reason they never go bad. Yeah. Okay, why is it that McDonald's apples don't go bad? What are they packaged in? Bags. Um, seal bags. Seal. A seal bag that doesn't let what come back. in. Air. No the air vacuum. can come inside. They, pack it in they pack it in a vacuum. Now, this apple has obviously not been packed in a vacuum, so you see that it's starting to change. Now, it's a physical change, right? So yeah. small. Now, it doesn't have a change. Why is it, wait a minute, why is it a chemical change? Because it's turned brown. So what's changing? The color. color. The color, okay, so physically and chemically, the apple is changing. Now, seriously speaking, even though the apple has changed color on the outside, on the inside, is it still edible? Yeah. yeah. Could we technically still eat it? No, no. Yeah. if you cut the top part off, it's going to be white inside. Right, so if we cut the top off, we'll still have a white layer. Now, if this apple's been sitting out here for, let's say, two hours, is it still edible? Yeah. Yes. But if I left it out here for Wait, a week... Eight years. No. 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 Not necessarily. No. Also... What is it now for? Uh, I'm going to tell you in a second. A what day. else also affects the change? The uh, skin. The think water. Of, think, about the water. Room, think about the room right now. Heat. Heat. What's smell. The, smell. What's a bigger word for heat? Temperature. Temperature, right. So if I take this apple and I put it outside and the weather's very cold, is it going to change very fast? It's going to be preserved. It's going to be preserved. But if it was a hot summer day, 100 degrees, what would happen? Shrink. 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 And what would happen? Shrink. It would start to smell. Wouldn't it have to be shrink like this? Right now, because the water's coming out. Right, so what happens when the water comes out? What is that called? Evaporation. Evaporation. So the idea is, you have four changes here going on. You've got evaporation, you've got a physical change, you've got a chemical change, change and you also have a change based on what what's going on in the room temperature. Temperature. temperature change okay now scientists let's say we didn't do this experiment right now what would be the first thing we got to formulate about this the color no the first thing we had to do is ask the what we ask a question so we ask a question stay right there don't move we ask a question that's the first step of what's this method called uh, scientific method the scientific method right now after we ask the question Ew. Hold on a second. After we ask the question, hold on. So now, we ask the question, we wanted to say, hey, what's going to happen if we leave the apple out? Now, not ask the question, what's going to happen if someone eats it? Well, that's a whole different science experiment. If he but if we, if we let it, let's head eat it, let's head eat it. We're going we're to use Ken at the end for the conclusion. Okay? Yeah. Here's the idea, wait, stay with me. What would I pay attention to? Pay attention. Come here. Come on, sir. So now we ask we ask the question. We ask the question of what's going to happen if you leave the apple out, and then we formulated our hypothesis. Some of us said that it would change. Some of us said it wouldn't change. Educated, glorified guess. Educated, glorified guess, because we really don't know. Then what do we do? Or hypothesis. Then what do we have to do? We have to do what? We have to perform the. Okay. So wait a minute. So we had a hypothesis. Let me search. Wait. Look at apple. Brown, like pink right here. Yeah, yeah no, pink. Hold on a second. Switch. Pay attention. Hold on. It looks like a. It looks like a shaped cracker. All right, now listen. Yeah, let's take a fast. As scientists, right? As scientists, it's great to get excited, but make sure we focus. We asked the question. We formulated a hypothesis. We did the experiment. The next thing is, now what are we doing? We're doing what as scientists? Uh, we're observing, but we're also doing what? Seizure before. Oh, we have hypothesis and experiment. Hold on. Results? We're, examining? We're examining or yeah. analyzing the, the what? The, 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 the what? We saw the 
the results. So we're going to analyze the results. results. The data or the results. Now, yeah. we don't have data, but we have what? Results. An apple. We have a result. So we got the result. Now, finally, what's the last thing we got to do? Draw what? No, we draw a conclusion, right? <laughs> now, what did we say? What, fellas, come here. What did we say was the conclusion? This apple changed physically because of what? I see water. Air, temperature. Temperature, water air, right and oxygen. 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 Very good. Right so, can we do another experiment? Why do you want water? One second, let's summarize real quick. So, hold on one second. Let's summarize real quick. So, whenever we're performing science experiments and on the Mark Train test, they may ask you, they're going to ask you about the scientific method. Now, the scientific method has one, two, three, four, five, five steps for what we're doing in class. There are some methods that have extra steps. No, there's like the ask question and then the hypothesis, and yeah. then it's a big procedure, and then it's to take experiments and analyze data, and then it's conclusion. Exactly. But what I want you to do is I just want you to have the bare basics. Bare basics is we start out by asking a what? We ask a question. Then we formulate a hypothesis. Then we do the experiment. Then we observe the data, and then we formulate the conclusion. Okay? Are we clear on that? Yes. Okay, now. Do we have one for that? Do we have one for what? The, that, like, um, the things like king, king. Now, this scientific, like, for example, let's say we took a species of animal from out of the wild, right? And we want to say, you know what? We want to, the question I want to know is, will a fish live outside of the water? No. If I give it a oxygen mask. No, no, no. We can do a water mask. A water mask, right? Yeah. So we create a water mask, yeah. we strap it to the fish's face. Yeah. <laughs> we ask the question. That's our hypothesis. And we gotta experiment with the fish. We put the mask on, we take the mask off. We put the mask on, we take the it's mask off. It's we analyze the data and then we formulate a conclusion. Most things in life, like for example, how do we know like for example, how do we know that um, sunlight causes things to grow? Um, nutrients um, and the light. But somebody had to What did somebody have to do first? They had to ask a what? They had to ask a question about how is it that plants grow. Then they had to formulate a what? And how would they conduct an experiment by f finding out whether that plants grow in the sun? They try to grow plants. You take one plant. You take two plants. Put one in the sun. And one in the closet. And one in the closet, right? And then you see which one grows, right? Right, because adding and the sunlight does what? It helps, it helps grow. Yeah. Even after all the nutrients, yeah. it's yeah. Right, so sun. Now, as human beings, right? As Homo sapiens, do we depend on the sun? No. Yes. 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 So you're saying if the sun went out, like a light bulb, could we survive? No. no. It's too hot. It's going to be too hot. It's going to be cold. Cold. And it's going to be cold. If the sun goes out, it's going to be too what? Cold. Cold because the sun. And we won't food. And yeah, we won't be able the yeah. sun helps with vitamin D. Everybody, right, we need that fat to have good what? Skin. Good skin, right? So there you and go. Bones. Where else can you get vitamin D from? Or milk. Milk, milk right? Drink milk. Good milk, not the fake milk. All right? <laughs> so we milk. understand? Swan milk. Swan milk. Swan milk. Swan okay, so now. Disgusting. We're done. Really? Listen up. Shh, shh, pay attention. We're done with talking about the scientific method. Anybody have any questions? No. no. What's the question? Well, Ken eat it. <laughs> yeah. We're going to take the camera from Ken right now. We're going to make sure that he eats it right now. Eat it. 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 E